Are you curious about a Windsor SS County real estate market? Stay tuned. In this episode, I'm going to share with you the recap for the month of November, what we're seeing in our local market, as well as the latest info regarding the Bank of Canada interest rate hold. Make sure you stick around to the end to find out what it means to you if you are thinking of buying or selling a home in Windsor SS County. My name is Chris Promater. I'm a local realtor serving Windsor SS County. We have helped many families in our local area as well as families moving to Windsor SS County. Each week, we bring you the latest real estate market update for Windsor SS County. Here is the residential market recap for the month of November. Listings are up by 8.39% or 62 homes. In November 2023, there were 801 homes listed on MLS as compared to 739 homes in November 2022. Sales are down by 8.86% at 31 homes. In November 2023, there were 319 homes sold as compared to 350 homes sold in November 2022. Average sale price is up by almost 3.32% in November 2023. The average sale price is just over $529,000 as compared to almost $512,000 in November 2022. That's an increase of $17,000 in value. Median sale price is down 4.17% in November 2023. The median sale price is $460,000 as compared to $480,000 in November 2022. That's a decrease of $20,000 in value. If you're finding value in this video, give us a like. It really makes a huge difference for us. If you want to stay in the loop, you can subscribe to our newsletter. We bring you all the latest real estate data as well as local events and businesses spotlight you may want to check your spam or junk mail. We don't give you any fluff. We give you the real data as well as what we're seeing in our local real estate market. We have boots on the ground and uh, we do this so you can make an informed, educated, and good financial decision for you and your family. Here's some in-depth data to share with you. Hopefully this helps you understand our market more better. Let me know your thoughts below. This is the number of homes being listed on MLS this year. From July to November, we saw a downward trend less home being listed on MLS. This graph is the number of sales from January to November. The last six months, we saw a continuous downward trend in the number of homes sold on the MLS. In the last three months, prices have continuously trended downwards. At the moment, our sale price is just over $531,000. Currently, we have nine months of inventory. We are in a buyer's market. As a buyer, why is this important to you? It means you have opportunities at the moment. More home and condos to choose from, more negotiating power in your favor. Some seller may accept your offer with a home inspection, a mortgage and financing condition, as well as a house to sell. You may be able to buy the home under list price, but the buyer's market may not last for long since the Bank of Canada seems to be indicating that a rate cut in the near future. And here is what happened recently. The Bank of Canada once again held a key interest rate study at 5%, encouraged by evidence that higher rates are helping bring inflation down. This is the third consecutive time the Bank of Canada has kept its key rate on change. The central bank decision to hold a key rate study was hardly a surprise to many, including myself. Here's what I noted. Higher interest rates are clearly restraining spending. Consumption growth in the last two quarters was close to zero and business investment has been volatile, essentially flat over the past year. Weighed down by higher borrowing costs, the Canadian economy has struggled to consistently grow this year. The combination of weaker growth and a cooling job market suggests demand is no longer outpacing supply in the economy. Many forecasters are expecting the Bank of Canada next move will be a rate cut. However, the Bank of Canada is not ruling out future rate hikes just yet. They are still concerned about the risk to the outlook for inflation and remain prepared to raise the policy rate for it if needed. Some believe the central bank will have to switch to cutting interest rates soon enough as the unemployment rate continues to rise and the spending in the economy takes a hit. A rate hold was the only option for the Bank of Canada, but with inflation still above 3%, this is why the Bank of Canada isn't ready to declare victory yet. With inflation having eased considerably over the last year, reaching 3.1% in October, the Bank of Canada projected in October that inflation will fall back to 2% in 2025. RBC expect the Bank of Canada to start cutting interest rate in the second half of next year once it becomes more obvious that inflation is truly going to return back to target and stay there. The Bank of Canada next rate decision along with its updated economic forecast is set for January 24. Do you think the Bank of Canada will lower the interest rate in January? Let me know what you think below. What does this mean to you if you're a buyer in Windsor SS County? It means stability for you. You know that for the next while you'll be protected by the interest rate not being increased by the Bank of Canada. 
this will definitely bring a lot of buyers into the market especially in the spring of 2024 you definitely should expect competition among buyers once again multiple offers preemptive offer also known as a bully offer unconditional offers meaning a clean offer no home inspection no mortgage financing clause at the current moment we're still seeing offer dates multiple offers on some property unconditional offers meaning the buyer are waiving the home inspection or mortgage financing condition meanwhile there are some properties that are not getting a lot of showings they are staying on the mls longer than before may not get a lot of offers sometimes they may not even get any offer when the seller's expectations are not being met some of these properties are often relisted at a higher price this is more of a reflection of what a seller wants for their home they may stay on the market for a long period of time some of them are sold under the list price or just over the list price the homeowners may accept the offer if the price and terms of the offer are favorable to them sometimes these homes are taken off the market as well some factors contributing to this are owners being unrealistic they are expecting last year prices the property may need some updating these homes are not in the best location and the seller may not be motivated to sell, meaning they probably don't have to sell. This can be an opportunity for buyers in the market. You don't have much competition. You have a good selection of homes to choose from. Your offer with conditions such as a home inspection or financing condition may be accepted by the homeowners if the price and terms of the offer are reasonable to them. Remember that each of your situation is unique. Always do your due diligence. Talk with a professional to have them help you navigate you and your family home buying journey make sure that they have you and your family best interests at heart here's our year-to-date market data listings are down by 10.74% or 1203 homes we had 10,002 homes listed on the MLS as compared to 11,205 homes listed in the same time in 2022 sales are down by 16.05% or 891 homes in November 2023 there were 4,661 homes sold as compared to 5,552 homes sold in November 2022. Average sale price is just over $558,000 as compared to just over $622,000 in 2022. That's down by 10.26% or $64,000 in value. Median sale price is $510,000 as compared to $565,000 in 2022. That's down by 9.73% or $55,000 in value. If you're a homeowner looking to sell, this is where you should do your homework by hiring a good, reputable, honest agent with a track record who would provide you with the data to support the current price in the market. They're upfront with you. They have a pulse on the market, meaning they are knowledgeable about what's happening in the market. Google would be your best source of finding your agent. Look at their reviews, their past client videos, testimonials. You don't want to hire a secret agent. You will get an idea about the quality of work and how who they are especially with the online marketing and presence your realtor should be your advisor they should advise you how to maximize your home value by doing the necessary work prior to having your home listed on the mls this include decluttering your home painting it if needed do any needed repairs and touch-ups have good curb appeal freshly cut lawn would be great grass Flowers are trimmed nice. If it's winter time, have the driveway clean of any snow and salted. Smell fresh and clean and inviting. Bad odors can be a turn off for many potential buyers. Have your home staged if needed. This may help you in selling your home for more money. Potential buyers can envision themselves and their family living there. And this is highly recommended. Hire professionals to help you sell your home. This include a licensed real estate agent. They can be your go-to resources for a home stager a lawyer, a home inspector, a handyman if needed, even a mortgage broker if needed. Make sure you're very realistic with your price and terms expectation. Price your home well, be patient, and most likely you will get a good offer and terms that you and your family will be happy with. If you'd like for us to help you anyway, please contact us and leave a comment below. We would love to talk to you a little bit more your goals and how we can help you. Take care, stay safe, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great month. Talk to you soon. Bye now. See ya.